Welcome. Today we are going to walk you through how to extract a balance sheet on Sage Pastel Partner. But before we get started, let's take a moment to understand what a balance sheet is and why it is so important. A balance sheet is one of the core financial statements used by a business to provide a snapshot of their financial health at a specific point in time. It summarizes a company's assets, liabilities, and equity. Essentially, it shows what the company owns, what it owes, and the value of the value left for shareholders. The balance sheet is divided into three main sections. Assets, uh, these are resources owned by the company, such as cash inventory and property. Liabilities, these are the obligations the company needs to pay, like loans, accounts payables, and mortgages. Equity, this represents the owner's claim after liabilities have been deducted from assets, including retained earnings and common stock. Now that we understand the basics of what a balance sheet is and its significance, let's move on to the practical part. Let's head over to Sage Pastel Partner and see how do you extract a balance sheet. Now we are on Sage Pastel Partner. We are already logged in. After you have done your accounting, capturing of your transactions, you can now come and extract your balance sheet. For you to do that, you have to come to view then you go to general ledger, then you come to financial reports, then you go to balance sheet. When you get to balance sheet, you just click on balance sheet. It may prompt you if you have got open batches, it may prompt you that uh, you have got open batches, do you want to view them? In our case, we don't want to view, so we're going to click on no. If you wanted to view, we're going to click on yes, so we'll click on no. Now, when you click on no, we are taken to this window, the balance sheet window, right? At the top here, uh, you can print to screen, you can print to printer, you can print uh, to Microsoft Excel, you can print to Word, you can print to HTML file, you can print to email, you can print to a, C, a SCLO file, or you can print to PDF. So you have to select where you want to print your, your file. After you have selected, in our case, you want to print to screen so we are selecting screen then you, you come here you have to select if you want to print zero items if you want to print zero items then you have to put a tick there if you don't want you just have to remove the tick so if i remove the tick there what it means when i print my report it won't print zero items then you have to select this here then you produce for period now you have to select the period which you want to which you want to print uh in this case uh i'm printing uh for this period that is uh, uh, March 2022. So I'm, I'm selecting that period. You, you can you can select a period by clicking on this arrow pointing down. So if you if you click on the arrow pointing down, there are a number of periods. So you, you have to select a specific period that you want to print for, to produce for. In, in this case, you are producing for March. Then print detailed lines. If you want to print detailed line, then you have to put a tick there. Then which currents, if you are uh, accounting in EM output currents environment, you can print in the different currencies that you have set on the system. Uh, but in our case, we're just going to print in the home currents. Then in print alternative layout, there is an alternative layout. So we're going to start with the standard layout. Then I'll come back and show you the alternative layout. Then you print assets first. You can, if you want the assets to print first, you just have to tick there. If you don't want, you remove the tick, the report will come out differently. I'm also going to show you, I'll come back and show you how it comes up. For now, we're just going to print the standard balance sheet so that we have a view of how it appears. So after we have made our selection, you just have to click on OK. So when you click on OK, you'd find our balance sheet is printed. Balance sheet is it, it gives you a date. Then you'd find uh, the first part shows our fixed assets, the values. Then the, the second part shows our current assets. Then the assets are totaled, the fixed and the current are totaled. Then you have got a total of 960,000 runs, 744. Then the second part now shows uh, the equity and the liabilities. So you have got your, uh, your, your equity and liabilities, capital reserves, retained income. So we've got a retained income there of 154,444 uh, runs. Then he, after the, the retained income, we have got the net profit, which is the profit for this year 
uh, just below the 876,596. Then you have got uh, minority interest, minority uh, interest, non-current liabilities. Uh, we have got non-current li uh, We don't have any, so we are totaling that. Then you have got that. Then you have got current liabilities. We have got national bank uh, of that much, and uh, that opening balance expense account figure give us that total so you can see now our balance sheet is balanced we've got total assets of 964.87 and we've got total equity and liabilities of 964.87 so this balance sheet is balanced so basically this is how you extract your balance sheet now i'm going to rerun down here you can now click on print if you wanted to print a hard copy you can click on print then you can print a hard copy on your physical printer if you want to email, just click on email. Now, rerun is what takes me back to the window on which we put up the settings, uh, which will determine how the balance sheet comes up. So, so I'm going to click on rerun so that we view the alternative layout. I'm clicking on rerun so that we are taking to the parameters window that we used to view this balance sheet. So when I click on rerun, I'm taken back to this parameters window. We are not changing anything up here. Everything remains as it is, but we're going to put a tick on print alternative layout. Then we are clicking on OK, right? So when you click on OK, you'd find we now have fixed assets up here. We now have current assets. Then it's followed by current liabilities. So the fixed assets, the total there of 255, it's added to the uh, actually it's, it's brought up here then you have got your current uh, assets uh, brought here 400 648 then you have got your current liabilities being subtracted from your current assets for you to have that negative of 24,000 which is then subtracted from the fixed assets to have a total of 231 which is now matched against the retained income and the net profit to bring a 231 down here so your balance sheet is balanced so this is the alternative uh, layout which 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 adds up the fixed assets uh, plus the current assets minus current liabilities to give a total then it matches that total against the capital employed which is the equity the retained income as well as the net profit so basically uh, this is how this report uh, comes up. We can also rerun again just uh, for us to view differently. We can uh, uh, remove the tick there on print in employment of capital section first. We remove the tick, then we click on OK. So when we do that, you'd find the capital employed comes up now. Uh, you've got your retained income there at the top with the total. Then down here, you've got your employment of capital section whereby your fixed assets your current assets are added together then the, the current liabilities are subtracted then the balance sheet is balanced so basically this is how you view your balance sheet after you've been capturing transactions into sage pastel partner thank you for watching don't forget to like share and subscribe see you in the next video thank you